Hi, I'm Joel. And I'm Leah. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed already, if you're new here, don't forget to go down below and click subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell so that you know when we're uploading a video, because subscribe's not enough anymore. No, okay. we need you to click the bell. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking to you about classic English food. So what is a typical British meal and what do British people eat when they sit down for dinner at 7pm at night? I've got a question for you, Joel. Okay. This is a bit of a uh, test, yeah. and for everyone at home. What do you think is the most popular British dish eaten in the UK? And here's your option. A spag bowl, Sunday roast, um, fish and chips, a curry, mm -hmm. or pasta? Pasta. Okay, well some of those, even though they are British, like spag bowl is very British, but at the same time it's isn't Italian. that Italian. It's not. British, it's just British people love it. I know, but I don't think if you say spag bowl to an Italian, they'll be like, What? What is spag bowl? <laughs> <laughs> uh, imagine going, us going to Italy and be like, Just two spag bowls, spag please. Spag bowl, please, yeah. Yeah. No, I think I think <laughs> fish and chips because that's like classic, classic British. Classic British person. You're actually food. incorrect. Am I? Yeah. Am I? Am I? I'm never incorrect. What? what? <laughs> um, the most popular meal eaten in Britain is actually a curry. That makes sense. <laughs> that I knew make it. A lot of sense, yeah, it? no, but it's true. Everyone loves curry here. It makes sense because I have heard curry being described as like a classic British dish, like traditionally British. I think it's because back in the day when the British Empire included India. So even though India is its own country, it was ruled by the Britain. Yeah. And so we took all the bits that we wanted from them, including curry. Their food. Um, and so it's a bit mean actually, isn't it? What? Well, Colonization is mean, but they're yeah. like basically like you're under our rule, but we're gonna take this because we like this, but don't want you. Exactly. What's your favorite curry? My, fa I just told you, <laughs> you were you agreed. Tikka masala. It's the paneer tikka masala, yeah. but only from the one in Limehouse where we used to live. Yeah, uh, only there. that one. There, okay. only from there. I like a korma, but I can't do it because it's too fatty. It's too fatty. So you love I don't. Korma? I love a cor If I had a choice, I'd go for a korma, but I can't because I'm healthy. I. So. But they're all unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> they're all so unhealthy. Like yeah. a korma is like. I'm sure you know what it is. It's like a really coconutty, um, creamy, creamy curry. It's not spicy at all. Not at all spicy. No, but I, I do like tikka masala. Tikka masala standard, but because I don't you eat chicken. You should try now, the yeah. There's this one called butter chicken, but you could have it with paneer, where it's like the same sauce but more healthy than a korma. Okay. There's this place in London. Um, the whole street is vegetarian yeah. restaurants. Is oh, it? I wasn't it's, what I was going to say. <laughs> You were going to think Brick Lane? Yeah, Brick Lane. Like, if you okay. want a curry, go to Brick Lane in London. <laughs> this video is soon going to be titled Where to Go for a Curry in yeah. London. <laughs> if you're vegetarian, there's a whole street in London near Euston Station called Drummond Street, and oh. every restaurant is vegetarian. Wow. Yeah, and they're That's all so pretty cool. like Indian, but Mexican. Yeah. Why have I heard of that street? Drummond Street has got some good graffiti on that street, so you Very might have nice. heard of it. Um, I think one of the things that I miss most since becoming vegetarian is bangers and mash. Yeah. I love it, I so, love it much. so much. I love it so much as well. If it's good quality sausages as well. Oh, it's excellent. With swimming in gravy. <sighs> yeah. Onion gravy specifically. Yeah, oh my gosh. Creamy Red mash. Onion with herbs in the mash. Oh yeah, I yeah. love that. Oh my. That's the thing, if you're gonna do it, get really high meat content sausages. Yeah. Because. Or just get vegetarian gross. sausages, they yeah. don't taste as good, but they're um, better for the world. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Go veggie. Go veggie. <laughs> Go veggie. We have not been sponsored by any veggie brands no. to say this. Eat corn. Eat corn. <laughs> when I kept calling it corn and you were like, it's corn. corn. I was like, corn? No, it is corn. Oh, someone told me off for that. Well, won't don't let the let haters put you down. No, I won't. Thank you. You want to call it corn, you call, call it, it corn. corn. What is toad in the hole? Yeah. Wait, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, toad it's... in the hole is like basically a batter. It's like Yorkshire pudding, yeah. which is another yeah. thing. Yeah, know it. It's you like batter it. covered like all like put over sausages and then you bake it in the oven and then you pull it out. So it's like a pancakey sort of texture, mm. but with sausages inside. The same mixture that you would put together for English pancakes which we, I'm gonna link another video where we talk about pancakes, yeah. um, is put, yeah, in a, in a oven, oven proof dish, 
boiling hot and then it turns into like this amazing Yorkshire pudding. So good. You might be thinking, what's a Yorkshire pudding? Is she talking in riddles? <laughs> because I've yeah. just gone, here's Toad in the Hole, it's combined of Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding and bangers. And mash, and bangers. No, Yorkshire pudding is then just that batter but on its own. So basically, a toad in the hole, you need to know what Yorkshire pudding is first, and then you can say a toad oh, in the hole is Yorkshire pudding, pudding with sausages. sausages. Yeah. But then another thing, spotted dick. What's that? I've <laughs> seen it on the menu. Have you never had I've it? Never had spotted it's dick. It's delicious. It's my dad's favourite um, pudding. Spotted dick. It's really nice. What is it? So it's like a sponge, just like a vanilla sponge. <laughs> With raisins and currants inside. Oh, I've had spotted dick. Uh, yeah, no, we all have. <laughs> oh, we've all eaten dick. <laughs> spotted dick to be precise. See, this is the thing, so I think every English person finds it hilarious and can never say it seriously. <laughs> I've just had an idea for our video with Lucy. <laughs> eating spotted dick with Lucy. <laughs> yes, let's do that. I've thought of more desserts that are English. Oh, go on then. Bread and butter pudding. Bread and butter pudding. Again, gross. It's derived from like the it. wars. Gross. Yeah, it's basically... Slices of bread with milk and raisins and sugar and like baked in the oven. Is trifle English? Yeah, English it's trifle. It's another shit pudding, isn't another it? What, it's again, another one. Again, with the soggy cake at the bottom. Soggy bottom! <laughs> it's just horrific. There's so many dreadful English puddings. Yeah, if you guys want us to go into great detail about these puddings, let Let's us know. talk about it. I mean, I do love a British pudding and I don't like Italian puddings at all. I don't like coffee. I don't like oh, tiramisu. Yeah, it's disgusting. It, I can't come to terms with people who are no. crazy about tiramisu. Also, the, just those delicate me. European things like creme brulee. I like creme Gorgeous. brulee. Gorgeous. But when you want something proper, like for dessert, per, like you pudding. don't want a creme brulee. Victoria Bake sponge phenomenal. is phenomenal. The Victoria sponge, again, simple. Simple. So simple. Jam, Two cream. Two sponge uh, sandwich pieces put together with cream and jam. Amazing. Butter cream and no, jam. No, nothing else needed. Stunning. Joel and I used to live together and we'd literally just make um, cake mix. <laughs> just eat it raw. That was... Yeah. Uh, Expose. <laughs> we used to eat, we used to eat raw, raw cake, cake batter. Mix. <laughs> raw cake batter. <laughs> oh, that's oh, shush. We're trying to film a video about British food. Okay. okay, Joel, here's a question. When looking at a three course menu, and at the top it says two courses for £10, yeah. do you go for a starter and a main, or a main and a pudding? What, should, what do you go for and why? It depends, obviously, but I would go for the main and pudding. What if there was halloumi on the starters? That's what it depends on. If there's something amazing. If the pudding doesn't have anything nice on it, if it's like tiramisu, creme brulee, ice cream, nah. not having it. Nah. If it's like chocolate brownie, chocolate mousse, or like carrot cake or something, I'd be like, yeah, yeah I'm gonna have yeah. it. What if the puddings were like lemon meringue? Okay, I don't mind that. But I just think it's, why does it exist? Really? Yeah. Why does it exist? Meringue. Who thought of meringue? Just whipped egg. Whipped egg whites. Egg whites. Who whips egg whites and why? <laughs> Eaten mess. Yeah. Eaten. What is the point? Why? What? Just berries. Mashed up and... meringue with berries and. I know, guys. Let's get this uh, whipped up egg meringue and throw it at the wall. So and then that must collect be a the dust thing. and then put, yeah. it over, put it over some berries. Put some fruit in it. Some desserts are ridiculous. I don't yeah. know, but you would go for a starter, wouldn't you? Because you you do have a starter sweet tooth, but you're not. Pudding. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, no mate. No mate. No, Starter but that's what and... I want to try and do is like to like <laughs> yeah. lose weight. Be like, you know what? I'm gonna limit myself to a starter Starters and then puddings. a pudding. Rather cut out the main course. Who wants that? <laughs> Who wants it? Only, you only have it because it's there. Yeah, exactly. Me and Dad went to Wacky Mamas yesterday. Yeah. I just had loads of starters. Did you? He had a main as well, and I was just like, I'm just uh, having starters. Tapas. It was. Honestly, the best choice I've made in a long time. That's so good. Do you know what? I've told you what place I want to start. I want to open this dessert bar where you get tapas, but all desserts and puddings. So that, you know, when you just want pudding you just and you want arrive. You a slither of cake. And, but you then you arrive and you're like, oh, but I want um, a bit, you won't want it, lemon meringue. And I want also a bit of chocolate brownie and I want a bit of ice cream. You can order the small portions in tapas portions so you can have all three. And make it on a conveyor belt and steal Yo, like Yo Sushi's idea, but it's pudding. And I can call it Joe, Joe Pudding. Because Joe, Joe. Oh, but. I, okay, maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah. 
I think it should be called pudding rather than dessert. Oh yeah, dessert is gross dessert French Dessert is a, word. Um, not Sorry. a word. It's just... It's a gross French word. Just a bit of light, light racism there. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, um, we have been John and Leah. <laughs> that I... was our video <laughs> about <laughs> British food. Yeah. Leave us a comment. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. Let us know if you want any more in-depth videos about these things. There's so much to talk about, I'm gonna burp. No, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, For the whole video? No, I think it just happened then. It's gone. I'll do the Lucy trick. <laughs> no, she, <laughs> she did, it. she went go like that. What, in the video? No, in real life. Say. She went, that's how you know there's no lips on your teeth. <laughs> Imagine doing that to a guy and being like, yeah. sorry, so I've got lipstick on my lipstick. teeth. <laughs> Tune in next week where Leo will be eating a banana. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's, That's gonna great. get hit. It's gonna get hit. Anyway, bye everyone. Come back next week. Love you all. Bye. Press the bell. Press the bell. I thought you were gonna call them precious. Can you have a look at the precious thing? people. See if my belly yeah. was out in that frame. <laughs> <laughs>